Hello, and we're here for another edition of the World School Games podcast, addition to Dubai here in January and February. And we were with Al Munya Academy here. Uh, guys, could you guys all introduce yourself, please? Hello, and I'm Maria. Um, I love sports, and like, I'm from Brazil, and I'm and I'm nine years old. I'm Mr. Ferris. I'm the head of PE at Almuna Academy, and we're very excited to be joining Head of World School Games for the first time this year. I'm Alex Idani. I'm 11 years old, and uh, I'm very excited for this tournament. Awesome. And uh, what sports will you guys be participating in in these upcoming games? Uh, um, I think it's going to be swimming or football. I might be doing um athletics football and swimming awesome so uh with that being said what are each of you looking forward to the most in the uh, upcoming world school games in dubai um i'm gonna say swimming i'm it looking forward in uh meeting new people and showing my record to most of other schools Awesome. And then um, why is swimming uh, going to be your most forward looking part to this, uh, the games? Because like, I'm very good at it. And like, for me, it's really easy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could all say the same. <laughs> so uh, what uh, swimming event do you do as well? What's your favorite swimming event? Um, freestyle. freestyle. Mine is butterfly. Nice, nice. And you said uh, you also uh, love running athletics. What's your favorite athletic uh, event to run in? Or are you more of a field guy or? Long, uh, long run. Long distance. Long run. Time. Nice. I, I'm actually a uh, mile runner here um, back home for the Paralympics for Team USA. So you picked the, the right uh, <laughs> right event. I, I like it. It's, it's, a, it's a fun event. A lot of people don't like to do it, but um, I think you'll really go and do it as well. Um, so with that being said, what are you guys excited for the most, just kind of facing the international competition uh, in the upcoming games as well? Um, I'm going to say for, like, um, showing, like, all of the schools that, like, um, when it is, like, really good at sports. Mine is to uh, show, show more uh, and lots of schools and many people on what El Muna can do and what the people in El Muna can show the other. Yeah, at Almuna we have over 50 different nationalities, um, so we are a really international school, so we are looking forward to meeting even more um, international students and, and sharing experiences and, sh and sharing our love for sport together. Oh, that's great to hear. Uh, with that being said as well, how is training going so far to the World School Games? Are a lot of your um, peers, are they really excited just to get out there and play sport as well? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they've been awesome. training hard. At least three, four times a week. Um, we've been really pushing hard recently. As you can see, they might look a little bit tired. Um, so they're, they've definitely been training hard and I'm really excited to, to see what they can do. Uh, it sounds like you guys are definitely putting the hours if you're working out uh, four days a week. So um, definitely seems like you guys are ready. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And uh, just to the captains here, what's just been like the atmosphere uh, on the team? How are you guys kind of keep? Being your teammates motivated to go into the games? Um, I'm not sure. So uh, <laughs> when my friends are tired, I push them. I say, uh, the whole world can see what, uh, what you're doing or what you're showing to, uh, your sport to the whole world. Yeah, they're very competitive. Uh, they're, 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 I'm not sure to say that. They're very competitive. So competitions within, within the training squad itself and um, they've been pretty fierce recently, so um, they're, they're definitely very competitive. Is there any sport that stands out that seems like it's been the most competitive in training so far? I don't know, some of the football tackles have been pretty pretty uh, spicy recently, so maybe the football. Sounds like you guys got a little too much of the uh, World Cup action there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the World Cup. And uh, with that being said as well, just to the athletes, who is your favorite athlete? Who do you guys inspire uh, to be or who you look up to? Um, I look up to um, like any swimming um, star. 
mine uh, awesome. it's not really um, the world school games but i look up to uh, kobe in basketball or lebron james there you go lebron i'm from cleveland so i love lebron <laughs> james <laughs> Yeah, I actually got to go to the uh, 2016 parade, and uh, I got to – I don't know if you know who Kevin Love is, but I got to shake his hand. So, uh, yeah, yeah, he's a cool guy. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Just, I guess, what is your guys' uh, personal goals in mind just going to the World School Games? And do you guys have any big team goals you've discussed as well uh, going into Dubai? Mm. Yeah. That's the best. That you might yeah. want to get a personal best in swimming? Mm, yeah. As in, like, you, you'll try and get your fastest time ever? My my fast my fastest time is, like, um, 15 seconds in in the 25, in the um, 15 meters swimming. Wow, that's good. Are you looking to try to break that record? Yeah. Yeah, nice job. And do you have any records you're trying to break? Uh, yes, I'm trying to push myself in beating uh, my uh, my speed in running and also in swimming. And, and for me, nice. uh, the, the main goal is that all the students enjoy the experience. And we, we it's our first year, and we're hoping to build you know a good partnership and in, enjoy the World School Games every year. And um, so these guys are representing us for the first time ever, and we're really proud of, proud of them. So we're looking forward to. The next three or four years as well so starting to build up from year two upwards um so the, these two students are definitely inspiration for our, our younger students who are looking forward to the world school games in two or three years time i love to hear it sounds like a, a big opportunity for you guys to you know gain experience this year and definitely become veterans in these games <laughs> <laughs> awesome um let's see what else here uh, what do you guys think it's going to take to uh, be able to achieve your goals and just have a good uh, experience at the games? Um, to like push myself hard and like and like even if it's hard, like just don't give up. Mine is to push everyone and even myself on uh, to beating the times and have, uh, to also have fun in the world school games. Awesome. And um, what, kind of going to a couple of our last questions, uh, do you guys have a lot of pride um, just being able to represent your school in the games? Yeah. And why is that? Because, like, because like, it's, like, cause like sometimes it's a one-of-a-kind um, one kind of experience of, mm -hmm. of, like, being in the world school games and, like, and like trying to be our own records in swimming. Mine is to show the world on uh, uh, what uh, the people uh, in Al Muna can do. Yeah, awesome. we had you know over 100, 150 children that wanted to be part part of this event, and we had to we had a training squad of fifty, and then we whittled it down again to to just the the World School Games put that final squad. So we've got so many children that want to be a part of this. So they did amazingly well um, to get onto the team. And we are so proud of, of them already. Wow. So it sounds like it's definitely a lot of competition there to just to get on the roster. Awesome. Uh, and then just the last question is, uh, what are you, do you guys have any just final thoughts going into the games or anything else to say? I'm just very again we're very excited for our first time for us and we're looking forward to the journey and the experience and anything above that will, will be a bonus awesome well thank you guys uh for coming on to the podcast today um again uh this will be accessed on social media and you can share uh with all your friends and students and uh best of luck to almuna academy uh in the upcoming games forward to seeing you i'll be one of the uh, sideline reporters at the game so Feel free to come up to me um, if you guys want to do a, a separate interview, and we can also post that on our channel. So really looking forward to meeting you guys, and best of luck. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you too. Bye.